no offence ended. Um, you'll hear this a lot on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Something starts, or everything starts and ends all on Wednesday this week. Yeah, so this is the conclusion of the Atta storyline with the um, the rape and kidnap of the... Uh, no, I suppose they weren't being kidnapped, were they, the care home kids? No, they of. were sort of held against... The, they held were against just the working world. for... They were sort of slaves. Let's put it that way. Slaves, yeah, yeah. And, and, but, I mean, Nora did not know, did she, that her son had been raping them, Manny, and... no. More than that, that he'd actually raped her other son who'd killed himself at the beginning of the uh, of the series. Um, other things that happened in this... Oh, yes, Donna had a bomb strapped to her. Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> Kathy's sister, Donna. Um, and basically, I'll just, shall I just skip to the end? Because it's like... There's... Skip to the good bit, as the original Yeah, Yeah, well, because every, everything sort of built up to Nora trying to flee, didn't it? And um, Viv, trying to, Viv was always one step behind... Basically, what happened is they, they chased them to a pig farm. Nice. Um, and uh, there was a helicopter there waiting for them. And, I think they're uh, right in saying the pig farm was the deaf lawyer's place. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Because they said they, they'd gone to his place. It's the only place that could land a, a chopper. I'd love to see the deaf lawyers. I yeah. want the spin-off. A spin-off of the deaf lawyers just helping other people like the good wife. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, Basically, what happened was that Manny got decapitated. Like his, like, well, I suppose it oh, wasn't his dad, goodness. was it? Because no. it, it started with him being sort of killed by a sign, wasn't it, at the beginning of the series? Yes, and Manny was yes. decapitated by a helicopter at the end of the series. Um, with Nora Very gruesome, sort of... brilliantly done. It closed everything off perfectly. <laughs> uh, it brought it back to episode one, which is really well done, because I hadn't actually thought about... The bomb in the, the church. The, yeah, I hadn't actually given that much consideration past the episode that it was in, so it was nice that they were still talking about that. Everybody had something to do. Will Mello mm. was very good. Jodie Latham, who I have to apologise yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Was, was very good as, as this guy who I, has to I, sort of... I would say Paul book. Abbott knows how to handle an ensemble, doesn't he? Mm, give it everything. Yeah. I mean, we didn't talk about episode six, but I thought the girl who played Tegan was excellent in the uh, when they were doing the uh, genital mutilation story. Like. Yes, yes. You know, it just does things that other shows wouldn't do. I'll tell you on, what it... on paper, it's like if you were describing somebody mm. who hadn't seen this and you were describing that plot, it sounds absolutely bonkers. It manages to stay on the just the outer fringes of bonkers. Mm. You believe, or at least I believe it all. Mm. What I would say part. is that you you look at a scene like the one where um, Paul, what's Paul Ritter's character called? Because I just keep calling him. I never him Paul know. Ritter. Let's just call him Paul Ritter. Yeah. I don't know what he's called. Paul Ritter and Jodie Latham were um, trying to take Donna's bomb vest off. Yes. And that scene you've seen, you know, you've seen a bomb defusal disposal scene a couple of times. But what I think Paul Abbott does is he looks at a scene and, and looks, how can I make this feel more real? And how can I yeah. get a couple of gags out of this at the same yeah. time? The line, do you mind if Dinah shoves your tit out of the way? Um, <laughs> yeah. And then the bit in the middle where she just decides to have a wee yeah. <laughs> in a bottle. There's, there's but that, really that's the bit of... that feels real, isn't it? Because like, normally they to get the bomb and that would be it, but they, they stopped what they were doing so she could like you know have a, have a piss, basically. The... All right, that calm down, dear. It never feels bonkers. It mm. sounds bonkers. I don't quite know how they do it. It just never... Fe- it always feels right in the world of the show... And yeah. in my world, I don't quite know how they do it. You mentioned at one there. There was a couple of things that you thought that they were starting at one that they sort of dropped. I mean, the main thing I thought was that they sort of build up like the feud with Sarah Salmani. But um, they, because you saw her at the awards ceremony, didn't you? Mm. And she was like, oh, she, you know, she's one of the lads, blah, blah, blah. They were sort of on each other's side, I suppose, more than you but thought. But I they'd... like that because what? we've seen the dueling, mm. the rogue yeah, policewoman with a yeah. cop boss. Who's but it almost to get felt like every episode it was like, don't, don't leak, take me out of the loop, and they took her out of the loop, and then it's just like, don't, don't you know? It, it was the same thing. It, do you know what I mean? It felt like the same thing every episode. She'd say, don't do this, keep me informed, and they didn't keep her informed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether. <laughs> Did she have a different relationship with Colin Salmon? I don't remember. Well, I think the thing was that she, because he was male, she was able to flirt with him, wasn't she? And in, yeah. in this case, I think that's what Paul uh, Abbott was saying. The other thing as well was that they really, we were talking about episode one, they really hadn't really touched on her husband's death, have they, really? No, they didn't. They you know, never did, no. 
And I think that's something they're going to explore more if they get more. What do I you hope think, they get more. What do you think the chances are of them getting more? I well, mean, we've the, been uh... raving about it. I feel like we're the only ones talking about it, and I, mm-hmm. I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true, because I hope this isn't a, like a... Channel 4 often do a two and done rather than one and done. They did it with Utopia, they did it with mm. Top Boy. I just yeah. hope they don't do it, because there's so much story still to plumb here. You know, Nora Rat is still around... Um, and there's just a lot of stuff, and it is a good show. I think it's growing into itself a lot more this series, and it I felt think the really performance, ballsy yeah. and confident this time, didn't it? it just the performances, like... the performances have got. But Alexander Roach was excellent. Will Meller, as you said, I think has done his best work here. You know, the supporting cast of characters when they're given something to do. Paul Ritter is just Paul Ritter can make a sound. Just a couple <laughs> of noises seem funny. Yes, yeah, so with the, uh, the was it the flash drives that he had. Yeah. In, uh, in yes, the flash yeah. drives in the plant pot there. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we need to just pencil in some of his, um, some of his yeah. sound effects, really. You can catch up now on all four. No, no offence. It would be odd, though, four. wouldn't it, if they announce a third series just after it's been on, and we like, <laughs> have to edit all that out. Oh, yeah, true, true. I'm really glad it got a third one, though, aren't you? Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 